In this session, um, we are going to see an analogy which will facilitate us to explain the complex process of protein synthesis or transcription to a layman. Protein synthesis Suppose your mom or your dad or your friend who is not of the biology background or biochemistry background uh, comes to and asks, you know, hey, I got no time, like I got like two or three minutes, I don't have to want to talk more about this protein synthesis, but I just want to know what protein synthesis is all about. Then, perhaps, you can use this analogy which I'm going to say to explain to them, you know, uh, this complex process of protein synthesis. Imagine that there is a recipe book A recipe book would have uh, a list of recipes you know that can be made by a cook or can be made by any person who can understand them and you know follow the instructions that are present in this recipe book Now uh, let us consider that this is a protein recipe book. A protein recipe book would have a recipe, uh, you know, the instructions uh, of how to make a protein. Now DNA, the molecule which has the ATGC codes, you know, which, uh, ha which has the genetic information uh, or the blueprint to make a protein, you know, that molecule is compared to a recipe book or a protein recipe book. You know, this is the first stage of our analogy process. And then, as I told you before, you know, only a cook or a person who is interested or, uh, you know, has, a, has the ability to uh, cook can or will read recipe. So let us have a master cook, a, a master chef, you know, a master chef or okay, uh, uh, this guy, you know, is a master chef. Okay, I would call this master chef. This master chef uh, is the person who is going to read this recipe book. Okay. He is the person who is going to understand the instructions that are present in the recipe book. So our analogy would be someone or something has to be, you know, you know, understand, you know, some molecule or, you know, has to really go and understand the uh, genetic blueprint that's uh, needed to make a protein. So that job is going to be done by mRNA, another molecule. It's a single standard molecule. So, focus here. Master Chef or is gonna it's go, he's gonna read the recipe books, but he is not going to you know cook by himself. He's gonna employ somebody else to cook the the recipe, but he's the one who's gonna read it and give instructions. Same way the mRNA molecule is not going to make the protein by itself but the mRNA molecule is going to have you know or uh, is going to have the information you know transcribed you know it's going to have the information transcribed from the uh, protein recipe uh, manual or the blueprint or otherwise called DNA so let us now focus on the master chef. The master chef is going to employ somebody from outside or from within or whatever to make the proteins. Let us say he is going to, you know, a junior cook. Okay. Let us say that this master chef is going to employ a junior cook you know, to cook proteins. All the master chef would do is, he read the recipe book, he, he knows what to do, uh, or what 
you know, it's supposed to be done. So the master chef, after knowing the recipe, the instructions, passes on the instructions to this junior cook so that the protein dish is finally made. Okay? The protein dish is finally made by the junior cook after listening to the master chef's instructions which he which the master chef got from the recipe book. Similarly, the mRNA molecule is going to employ ribosomes. The mRNA molecule is going to employ ribosomes, you know, to cook the proteins or the proteins or to make the proteins. Okay, this is the analogy which one can use uh, to quickly explain the complex process of protein synthesis. You know, let me summarize. That's a recipe book which is uh, read by a master chef. The master chef doesn't do the cooking. He employs the junior cook to make the protein dish. And how it's done, the master chef understands the instructions and passes the instructions to the junior cook in a simplified manner or you know um, faithful manner in the sense he doesn't distort the instructions he passes it on faithfully uh, in a language which the junior cook can understand so that the protein dish is done okay so that the protein dish is done as per the uh, recipe book the same way the DNA molecule you know the instructions uh, for protein to be made is in here this is, these instructions are being transcribed or being understood by this mRNA molecule which in turn employs liposomes, you know, in association with liposomes like the junior cook to make the protein molecules, okay? So this is uh, the process of um, protein synthesis. Thank you.